Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Poor responders, also known as low responders, are individuals who produce a limited number of eggs or have suboptimal response to ovarian stimulation during fertility treatment, especially during intrauterine insemination or IVF. Treating infertility in poor responders can be challenging, but various strategies and protocols can be employed to optimize the chance of success. Let's look at how poor responders are treated for infertility. There is a pre-treatment evaluation, a thorough examination of the couple's fertility history, medical conditions and previous fertility treatments is essential. Blood tests to examine the ovarian reserve, for example, AMH, FSH, estradiol levels, etc. are conducted and hormonal profiles provide crucial information about ovarian function. A transvaginal ultrasound may be performed to assess the antral follicular count and the overall condition of the ovaries. Tailored ovarian stimulation protocols are also designed. Individualized stimulation protocols are designed based on the specific needs of the patient. Mild or minimal stimulation protocols may be considered to reduce the risk of overstimulation while maintaining the quality of eggs. Protocols may include the use of gonadotropins, FSH and LH, clomiphene citrate or aromatase inhibitors in various combinations. Gonadotropin dosing adjustments are also done. Careful monitoring of the patient's response to ovarian stimulation is crucial. Dosing of gonadotropins can be adjusted based on the patient's ovarian reserve and response. This is done with frequent ultrasound and hormonal level assessments. Dual stimulation is also considered. In some cases, dual stimulation may be very useful. This involves simultaneously stimulating both the ovaries to increase the number of eggs retrieved. Use of growth hormones can also be beneficial. Growth hormones may be added to the treatment regimen as some studies suggest that it may improve follicular development and egg quality in poor responders. Intrauterine insemination may also work. For some couples with mild male factor infertility or unexplained infertility, IUI with controlled ovarian stimulation may be attempted as a less invasive option. In some cases where the patient is extremely sensitive to ovarian stimulation drugs, natural cycle IVF or modified natural cycle IVF may be considered. These approaches retrieve and fertilize the naturally selected egg without using high doses of stimulation medications. Then of course we have the assisted reproductive techniques. Techniques such as intracytoplasmic sperm injection and assisted hatching may be employed to optimize fertilization and embryo development. Elective embryo cryopreservation is also a very good protocol. Eggs or embryos can be cryopreserved or frozen for future cycles to maximize the chances of success with multiple treatment attempts. Treatment for poor responders requires a highly individualized approach with focus on maximizing the quality of eggs retrieved rather than simply increasing their quantity. Consulting with a reproductive endocrinologist or a fertility specialist in treating poor responders is essential for developing tailor-made plan to offer the best treatment plan to achieve a successful pregnancy. To understand more about poor responders and treatment regimes, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.